Reverend Emily Goldwaite Freed. Make some noise for her, y'all. Come on. Originally from Eugene, Oregon, Reverend Emily serves Mayor Flower United Church of Christ in Woo! South Minneapolis, otherwise known to the locals as the church with all those solar panels. <laughs> Mayflower has set a goal to become a carbon neutral building by the year 2030. Give it up! Woo! Sparking the Earthwise movement across the United Church of Christ and was also the first congregation to commit to the UCC's Fossil Fuel Divested Fund last year. Give it up for Emily, y'all! Thank you. Good afternoon! Mayflower Church is here today with Minnesota Interfaith Power and Light, building a powerful climate movement with hundreds of congregations around the state. You might be surprised how many of us there are, so if you're with me, make some noise! Yes. We are hopeful, joyful people who know exactly how serious climate change really is. We've marched a long way to get to this day, carrying the wisdom of our ancestors to set before these capital steps. We are Muslim, Baha'i, Jewish, Buddhist, Catholic and Protestant, indigenous and immigrant, young and young at heart. And each of us knows what is required of us in caring for this earth and all life upon it. Please join me in a spirit of prayer. Holy wisdom, you have been with us since the dawn of creation and still you wait for us to notice you. You delight in humankind, yet we seldom look up to see the beauty around us. And now, as life on this planet depends on us, we confess that we've been too quiet while cynical voices are amplified across our lands, denying our sacred responsibility. No more, Holy One, will we hide our light and yours. Your people stand together today from all across Minnesota, from Wisconsin, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, Michigan, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota, Alberta, Canada, Washington, D.C., the Gulf Coast. Hear us, your children, ready to respond to the call. We ask your blessing for those on the front lines impacted by dirty fossil fuels projects by spills, explosions, and other harms of tar sands extraction in Alberta, refining near Detroit and Whiting and on the Gulf Coast, spills in the Kalamazoo River, in Mayflower, Arkansas, Clearbrook, Minnesota, in the Gulf of Mexico, even now on the California coast, those battling fracking and frac sand mining and tar sands and Bakken oil pipelines. The Alberta Clipper, Line 3, Line 5B, Line 61, Sandpiper, Keystone XL. Oh, Holy One, have mercy on us. Finally, for those with the power in our cities and states and nations, and that includes each one of us, we ask this blessing in the words of William Sloan Coffin. May God grant you the grace never to sell yourself short, grace to risk something big for the sake of something good, grace to remember that the world is now too dangerous for anything but truth and too small for anything but love. Amen.